we continue to focus on Jammu and Kashmir. This is coming across at a time when there has been encounter anti-terror operations that continue in Baramula and it has intensified. However, reports suggesting that one terrorist has also been neutralized. That's the update coming in from Baramula. Um, at least as we talk about uh, when it is coming at a time, as far as the terrorists are reportedly who has now been killed, it's been neutralized by our security forces. Uh, Pradeep, can you share information on this uh, anti-terror operation that has been taking place? Well, uh, as far as one terrorist has been reportedly uh, neutralized, but there have been incidents of fresh firing that has been reported in Baromula. Of course, uh, deferred pictures that uh, you see on your screens. But uh, this is coming at a time where in Baromula encounter that is underway between uh, security forces and terrorists. This is at the Chak Taper uh, Kriri Patan area where uh, this encounter that has been reported. Uh, at least two of them. Pradeep, if you can hear me now, can you give us an update on the Baromula anti-terror operation? Please. Uh, yes, uh, in the uh, Kredi area, the operation is continuing since yesterday evening. They got information about presence of terrorists immediately after that. The area was caught in, and uh, with the first break of light, they had been able to eliminate uh, one terrorist. Two to three terrorists are said to be holed up in that area. During the last 24 hours, there had been operation going on at two places. One is in Kredi Tapar area, that's in North Kashmir in Baramula district, and then the another operation is going on in Chhatru area in Kishtwa district. Just ahead of Prime Minister's visit, there are two encounters going on. That clearly indicates that our security forces are completely dominating the scene. They are going after these terrorists. They are not allowing them to raise their ugly head. Reason is that Pakistan is completely rattled ever since they have seen bumper turnout during Lok Sabha elections. So they want to generate fear and that's why they are trying their level best to sabotage peace in the region. We saw that three days back there was an infiltration bit from the north and now Shara sector two of the terrorists were killed while they were trying to sneak into this side of the border. And then two terrorists were killed in Pasankat area. There was a ceasefire violation in Akhtur sector. Pakistan was trying to push in terrorists under the garb of firing into this side. And right now the two operations going on. One in Tapar area and Paramla, where one terrorist has been eliminated, other in Chhatru area, where right now the operation is continued. Two of our brave hearts have lost their lives, two are said to be critically injured. They have been evacuated to hospital. Additional reinforcement has been called. These two operations started just ahead of Prime Minister's visit in Doda, and this is going to be a very significant visit so far as uh, the people of this region are concerned, because for long their demand had been that Prime Minister should come out to this place. In the last 50 years, no Prime Minister has ever visited. It was in the 70s, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi had visited since then. Not a single Prime Minister has come out to this place. But Prime Minister Narendra Modi often and on keeps on coming out uh, to uh, Jammu region, to Kashmir Valley. Even last time in 2014, he had been to Kashmir region, and this time he will be addressing a rally here in Dota region. So right it is to happening at a time when the Prime Minister will be in uh, Jammu and Kashmir today, of course, when it comes to the elections, that the political campaign will continue. But two at least encounters that have been reported in the Baramala encounter that has been reported, one terrorist, the report suggesting, has also been neutralized. I am the future that was born a hundred years ago. I am the purpose that emerged with India's independence. To be a force for business that takes India to the world and the world to India. Creating pathways of self-reliance. To stand for progress, the planet and the people. Towards a future made perfect and be a force creating abundance because independence is not a moment in history it's a never-ending path to prosperity aditya billa group a force for good